Okay, now we're back. We're back with uh, our model here. So this next video. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna create the controllers, right? Uh, but, but, but before that, I just gonna do something a little bit here, uh, just to make the model a little bit more better. I mean the bone a little bit more better. Um, we need to do uh, some tweaking here a little bit although the placement is already correct um, so what we do is um, you go to s uh, select the the root if you see the root of the bone is actually everything is joined is converging to this right the hip everything is in the hip if you move the hip all the bones start to move all right so this funny thing is actually because of the ik but you can see every every bone is actually you know uh, link up to the hip all right so if I select the hip, uh, what I'll need to do is, if you if you look at the bone here, there's a lot of uh, values here, right? So you want to like, uh, some values are a bit, uh, just to be safe, we don't want to have a weird kind of values. So what we do you need to do is you need to select all the bones. So the problem about selecting all the bones, if I select like this, right, it will only select the, the root of the highest hierarchy of the bone, which is the hip because my selection hit the hips right if i let's say hit here only this is the highest of all this bone chain so what i do is um, i select the hip uh, the hip bone and then i go to the edit and then i go uh, select hierarchy this will expand the selection on all the children so you see everything is white here because everything is selected now what i'm going to do is i am going to freeze transform it modify freeze transform it as you can see there's no red warning or yellow warning which is correct which is okay which mean i already i managed to uh, reset all this value but except for the translate value you can never adjust that okay so you just leave it that way but the most important part is your your rotation everything should be should be um, all right should be should all be zero zero one one one, right? This kind of things. Now, so the next next uh, part. Just gonna test the IK a little bit. Does it bend forward? Okay, good. All right. So the next part will be uh, to adjust the the joint orientation, just to adjust the ball angle. See, the ball actually have some angle. So you select the hip here. And then you go to uh, go to skeleton, and you see um, uh, orange joint. This is a good tool. So if you click the option here, all you need to do is uh, I'm going to reset this. All you need to do is you you use uh, X, Y, and then Z here, right? This will help to fix the angle of the ball joint here. So it's facing the right direction. So X, Y, and Z, and then hit orient. All right. Now this is saying some this warning here. Uh, joint 7 has non-zero rotation now let's see what is joint 7 I believe joint 7 have no zero rotation that's why it doesn't let me do that joint 7 um, just one check on the list here who is joint 7 joint 5 6 joint hmm then it should be here. No. Nope. Then type there joint uh, seven. Right, joint seven. Okay, so this this one have problems. Hmm. It has a negative, so maybe I can just put zero like that just uh, freeze transform that again yeah that will fix it let me just try that again so click this I'm gonna turn off the filter here and then click the hip um, skeleton orange join the option XYZ hit orange still got yellow skip uh, 10 joint 10 so what's the problem there let's see joint number 10 
Uh, it should be here, lah, right? So this one have a zero value. Hmm. Wait. Wait. Let me try that again. Joint. Orient joint. See. Cannot perform joint orient transform joint seven has no station. It keeps on transferring. Uh huh. Okay, maybe I need to delete the IK first before I do this. Alright. So let's try that again. So uh select hierarchy and then freeze transform. Alright. And then select this one and then uh, join orient. Alright, no problem, right? Okay. Yeah, the problem just now is because I have the IK created uh, before I I do the the uh, orient joint. So yeah, you need to make sure that you orient join first and then only you create the IK. Okay, so now now I'm gonna create the IK. So skeleton, IK handles, uh, make sure everything is okay. Rotate plane, yes. Click that and click this one, and then hit G again to redraw the another IK. All right, just test the both IK whether it's rotate at the correct place. Yes, correct. Okay, <coughs> so now that we've done that part, I'm gonna save this progress and start creating the controllers now finally we create the controllers right so controllers can just be a simple shapes like from the shelf here curves so you can use the circle this for now so first we need to have the master controller which is the one that control all the controllers so I'm going to create a center here and then I'm going to just adjust the value here on the X zero so it's a center uh, Z, hmm. yeah, Z just I just leave it like that. Okay, and then now uh, I'm going. Yeah, I'm gonna put it forward a little bit. All right, then I'm gonna name this as uh, CTRL or CTRL underscore master. All right, so this is the master controller. CTRL stands for controller. And then, right? Um, and you see some values here. It's good that you freeze, uh, delete the history, and freeze transform it. All right. So you need to freeze transform it. Now the most important part. Then I'm gonna make a copy this Control D, and then just bring it up. I'm gonna make for the hip here. So now I'm gonna name this as hip controller. All right. I'm gonna make this smaller a little bit. See the model? You don't want it to be too small like this. Later, when you animate, you will animate the controller. So you want to make sure that it is easier to select. So about this size. And then, so what you do for this one is I'm gonna snap it to the, so the the pivot. The pivot for this uh, circle, uh, you know, the hip controller, will be snapped to the the center of this bone or the hip bone so yeah just use the V and then just snap it over there then job is done and yeah you got a value here make sure you uh, modify and freeze transform it right that's it so next part is the spine so I'm gonna control D and then hold V move it all up there I'm gonna name that as my spine one right uh, size wise is okay all right since uh, and then don't forget to freeze transform it same thing control D and then you can just drag that over there and then I'm gonna name that as the neck okay and uh, yeah let's see whether the size is correct or not 
Alright, so I need to make this smaller a little bit and just uh, delete by t delete by type history and then freeze transform it. That will do the trick. Just so gonna save my work. And uh, I'm gonna copy the neck, control D over here. Now I'm gonna rotate this uh, about this blue angle here, which is the z-axis, like this. So I'm gonna put it about negative 90 degrees. And this one will be for the hand. Okay, so I'm gonna reveal the model. Alright, just put it roughly there first. See the size is okay or not. Alright, so I'm gonna make it smaller a little bit. And I hide my model and then I'm gonna use the snap tool. Snap, snap it over there. You can name that as your um, upper arm underscore this is the left hand so big L to that and then control D bring it uh, hold V and then snap it over there control D hold it snap it on the other one and just resize and to your liking lah. Just resize this slightly smaller this one can be more smaller like so okay and I'm gonna name this as my <coughs> my forearm right and then this will be my hand or risk right or the wrist um, then don't forget to freeze transform it select both modify freeze transform okay everything all the controllers should freeze should be freeze transform now for the other side you just uh, control D and then just uh, V drag there control D V drag the other side control V and uh, control D V drag the other side all right and yeah you can change this to R for each one okay and see the value already have some changes to negative so what you do is select all three and then modify freeze transform all right I'm gonna save my work here and now it's time to do the leg controller I'm gonna hide the grid here so you can see the master controller down here uh, let's see yeah master controller is placed correctly now I'm gonna make uh, a circle another circle I'm gonna draw it uh, down here All right and this one I'm gonna name this as CTRL underscore the foot underscore left this is the foot controller and I'm going to modify the shape of this so that it looks like a foot so to do that you right click on the line here on the right and then you go to uh, control vertex and then you can just pick this purple points oops uh, another thing this better you put it that away a little bit and control vertex and then I can uh, select both of these or just move this like this to make it look like a foot select both use the scale tool and then just get it like that so I know this is the front part of the foot then I go back to the line right click and hold it and then go to object mode then I can bring this here and roughly place it at where the foot should be all right <coughs> then what you need to do is you need to of course do the same thing again delete history and then freeze transform it all right and then for the other legs you can also mirror it on the other side if it's not symmetrical like this is not symmetrical so what i do is uh, i go to edit duplicate special and then uh, I'm gonna reset this then what you do is uh, this is the X Y and Z you need to put it to the posit 
this is the positive x you need to put it to the negative x so we just put the one here to a negative value and then hit duplicate special and then just put it on the side here okay and don't forget to uh, you know do the thing is delete by type history and then freeze transform and you can name this as the, the right foot <coughs> so now you can save this save, the, save your work uh, we need one more controller right before we wrap this this part of the tutorial which is the knee right the knee angle here so uh, I'm gonna draw this on the side view and draw a circle that look like this and of course we need two of this control D and then just put it here and I want to hide the model for a while because I want to snap both at the knee here so hold V snap it over here V snap it on the other side of the lake so once you got it snapped and then you just move it forward like that I want it to be on the same angle right then uh, yeah you can name that as your CTRL underscore knee uh, knee TWIST knee twist underscore left you can copy this and then for the other side here you can just paste it and change from L to R alright <coughs> okay so then of course go to edit uh, delete by type history and then modify freeze transform it all right so that's the controller that you need to you do for your robot and save my work here all right so I see you on the next video where we will start to do use constraint uh, more more of the constraint to to link between all of this all right so from the bone to the uh, we're gonna constrain the bone to the to the controller so that the the con the bo the controller will control the bone by moving the controller um, and so on and uh, of course the model we need to also use we can use constraint to constrain it to the bone so things like that All right so I'll see you in the next video uh, yeah. Thank you.